What account should I draw down first? Brian asks. Good question. So let's look at this. All right. So Brian, uh, Brian, Brian writes in, uh, been subscribed for a number of years, writing to see if I could get your opinion on something. I'm going to retire in three years at the age of 58, and I'm conflicted about what accounts to draw down first uh, before I take Social Security. Excuse me. I was informed from another source to take my personal savings account first to supplement my pension and then use my 401k later if need be. I'm asking, would it make more sense to me use a yearly 4% draw of my 401k uh, in order to take advantage of being in a lower tax bracket during that time? Once I take Social Security and my pension will be more than a, to supply my needs. My concern is having too much in my 401k for RMDs around 72. All right, so um, just can we stop the 4%? Stop, stop. Ah, look, at my man says, look, by the time I'm taking my social security, my pension would be more than enough to supply his needs. So forget the stupid 4%. The 4% has nothing to do to you, man. Good night. Stop. Uh, stop this crazy. Jane, stop this crazy thing. All right. Just take what you need from the 401k. Now he's got a pension. All right. So we got a couple things here. Hey, we know he's going to be a uh, post 55 rule, post 54 rule, frankly. He'll, which means again, let's just look at the uh, IRC. Hold on a second. Here's the IRC, the, uh, the IRS code, the Internal Revenue Code. And it's from the IRS.gov retirement to topics, exceptions to the tax on uh, early distribution. So we're just going to go up here to control F and we're going to type in 55. And lo and behold, separation from service. The employee separates from service during or after the year in which the employee reaches the age of 55. Notice age 50 for public safety employees. We'll have to revisit that again because it's uh, been a couple years since I did that. That's huge, man. All right. And as I say, qualified plans. Yes. Yes. For qualified plans, which is a 401k, et cetera. An IRA is not a qualified plan. So this is only for qualified plans. I hope that makes sense. Qualified plans, and this is huge, qualified plans, public safety employees, uh, border protection, federal fighter fires, air traffic controllers, law, federal law enforcement officer, officers, customs, uh, defined benefit, uh, just, oh my goodness. So it's basically, I mean, it's federal firefighters is basically the first responders, if that makes sense. All right. Um, uh, I want to go back to, we'll come back. This is been a defending public safety employees retirement act right there. We'll come back to that next time. Uh, Cause I want to do a video on that, but notice the employee separates from service during or after the year in which the employee reaches the age of 55. All right. Uh, so keep that in mind It's a qualified plan. It is not an IRA. All right. So you cannot roll this to an IRA and have the 72 T right here. 72 T apply you have to keep it in your 401k all right so i just want to be clear this my man brian says rule 55 you keep in your 401k you can take money out after, as long as you separate from the plan and it's still in the plan uh, separate from and work after the age of 54 and the money's still in the 401k which in this case is going to be that's the right you can, that's what it is right there i just read it to you that's straight straight from the irs not tax free but penalty free now the question for brian is I don't know what this deal is health insurance is. I don't know. Right, so that's the issue. He's got a he's got a pension. It might be union. I don't know. He might have a government pension. I don't know. So two things come applicable here. And this is where this isn't in financial planning school. It's just not. It's, it's very interesting dynamic with new uh, with a new law of the ACA, the Affordable Care Act. So if Brian needs income to live on, well, he's got to get from someplace. But if Brian also needs health insurance, uh, he's got to get that from someplace too. So these two things got to compete, if that makes sense, in some regard. So if Brian needs income, he's going to have to take it from his personal savings or his 401k. If he needs health insurance, he should take it from his 401, if it needs health insurance outside of his previous employer, COBRA, or I guess after COBRA, it doesn't have a pension, doesn't have a union. I mean, if it doesn't have union health insurance, he needs to get for health insurance from someplace. Well, he doesn't really need to, but you know what I'm talking about. So if he takes more than basically, was it 400% of the federal, federal poverty level? And if, I don't know if he's single. I don't know if he's married. I have no idea. But basically, we'll just say he keeps his income below roughly 60000 a year if he's married, roughly 40000 a year if he's single. He's going to get significant subsidies for Affordable Care Act. That's just, I just did a video on that just yet, just last night. However, if he doesn't need health care, maybe he's got TRICARE, maybe he got, you know, a federal employee health benefit, all that stuff. 
then man, you should be drawing down your 401k. I mean, if you have healthcare covered, you should be drawing down your 401k. Even if you don't have healthcare covered, you should be drawing down your 401k until the extent of, like I said, 60,000 if you're married. And like, I don't know his specifics, but, and I'm not, I'm just being broad based there. So you have to dive into this a little bit deeper. Roughly 60,000, you're married, 40,000 or something like that if you're single to make sure you qualify for the ACA because those subsidies are huge, man. So I hope that makes sense. So again, this is new to financial planning realm. Wasn't always like this, just last three to four years. All right, so you got Obamacare subsidies. If you don't need Obamacare, then take your money from your 401k and never look back. Stop the stupid 4%. It's absolutely irrelevant here. It's absolutely irrelevant here. I just, I, I don't get, well, I get, it's so easy. I'm just going to take 4% here. Why? Well, because that's what everyone says. Why? Uh, yeah, exactly. It's like, what causes global warming? CO2. Why? Because that's what everybody says. Oh, okay. What causes gravity? A big magnetic field in the United in the uh, in the Earth's core. Really? Yeah, that's what everybody says. You know, you drop something, it falls. Gravity. Well, is that gravity? That's not gravity. That's just something dropping. <laughs> How's it caused? Magnetic pull? Really? Okay. Yeah, we do. So uh, think about this, but it's a good question. Ideally, when you hit Social Security, you don't need 401k distributions. Your 401k has been knocked down quite a bit. And then Social Security and your pension will cover your income. Pfft. That's, you can't beat that, man. All right. Love your thoughts. We'll see you.